All right, here we go. We've got another walkthrough Wednesday for you. I'm a little blind right now, so I'm squinting, but we're in Layton on Summer Breeze Lane. Definitely doesn't feel like a summer breeze today with all the snow that we got last night. But the home that we're gonna be touring is courtesy of Destination Homes. Brad Cherry's the listing agent on this. Um, they've got a bunch of homes in here. We're gonna look at this one today. They've got two others next door that are available as well. So we can get you some info on that if you're interested in this subdivision. This home though is listed at 859.9. It is a four bedroom, three bathroom home, just shy of 4,000 square feet on a third acre lot with a three car garage. So let's take a look inside. First thing I would point out on this one, number one, the door that they did on this one, they've got this funky glass window on the door here. I personally don't like that. I want to be able to walk up and not have whoever standing at my door see me coming up. I know you could put some blinds here or whatnot, but then they'd be bashing on the bottom all the time. There is a ring doorbell on this home, so that does help a little bit being able to see, but I like the idea behind this. I don't just love this door with the clear glass. Maybe if we went like an opaque or something, that might make it better. But as we venture into this side of the home, it's nice that all the living space is on this main floor. All the bedrooms are upstairs. So this room's really nice and open. I like that Destination did some really nice built-in bookshelves here and kind of designate this as an office space. Venturing into the living room, I do love the gas fireplace here. I like the mantle that they chose and the tiles surrounding the mantle. I think all of that looks really good. Destination's also great about putting lots of windows in all of their floor plans. This walkthrough today, we haven't turned on a single light. This is all natural light. You got your dining room here, really cool, almost a half globe chandelier, and then a large, large kitchen island, which I like as well. This specific home, this isn't standard, but this specific home, they went with the gourmet kitchen with the double oven and the microwave above, and then the gas grill here. Coming out to the garage, we'll take a quick look here. Not a whole lot to see in the garage. There is though a nice built-in here as well in the mud room. And then you do have a half bath here. I personally like the decorative tiles. I know that's a preference thing, so you guys will have to let me know if you like that or not. This one does have the three car garage. I do like this little bit of space here that you can put stuff. You could have on this GFI, a freezer or a fridge in the garage. And then you've still got plenty of room for all the cars and whatnot on this end. Nice and echoey. This home today does not have a finished basement, so we're not, we're not going to be heading down there. But we will. We miss this little front room here up on this main level. Little coat closet here, not much to see. There is this room though with the double doors, which is nice. I probably would make this more my office, which then makes these bookshelves kind of interesting what you would do with that. but. This could also be like a piano room. I've seen it used as that, so you can close the doors and keep the sound. It is interesting to me how a lot of times we've seen the gold come back, the gold light fixtures. I do like that one. I like the one they put over the dining room table as well. I like the colors throughout this house. I think this laminate's a good choice, a good neutral color, as well as the banister arrangements here. As you come to the top of the stairs here, small laundry room here on the right, and then we'll take a look at the master first. Good sized master bedroom in this home and a master suite as well with the closet and bathroom. We'll look at those. One thing I wanted to point out though, if you're gonna build in this subdivision and you choose your lot carefully, check out the views you're gonna have. Moving into the master here, closet first. We will kick on these lights because there's not, uh, not any windows in the closet. <laughs> Good size closet. 
They did go with a little bit of a unique style here in the master bathroom. They went with the single vanity sink and then the separate makeup counter. That's a personal preference. I think the double sinks is nice. However, this gives you a lot more countertop space. So depending on uh, you know what your marriage looks like and how you guys utilize the sink in the bathroom, again, that's just a personal preference thing. Separate tub shower, showers behind us here. And again, again, I talk about this all the time, but it's like an absolute must to have the toilet in its own little room with a door on it. I see too often where a lot of these new builds and new construction places are putting the toilet where it's just in the bathroom. I think that's a terrible decision. I think it's way better to put it in its own room. So three more bedrooms here upstairs and a bathroom. I'll let you guys venture around and take a look at those. Uh, one thing I'd point out is they did do the double sink in the second bathroom here, which is nice because you're gonna have three different you know, bedrooms that are all gonna be sharing this bathroom. So I appreciate you guys jumping on, watching the video, watching this walkthrough. Try and do these every week on Wednesdays. Wednesdays will go live, and then the next week we'll have it released on our YouTube channel so that you guys can see it there. Um, when we do the lives, we're doing those on Instagram. So if you guys have any questions about this neighborhood built by Destination Homes in West Layton, feel free to contact us. You can call, text, email, DM, leave a comment, and we'll get back to you and answer any questions that you have. Thanks.